welcome. Uh, cute cuticles. That's what it says I'm supposed to say. No, what's wrong with that? I know. Who, who has cute cuticles? Mine are really bad right now. I'm going to sound like this. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Jerry says, I'm going to tell you how to make your cuticles better, specifically mine. So, without me pointing, let's get started. <laughs> Are we started? Essential oils definitely can help. We like giveaways. We do like giveaways. Forget about the dishes, forget about the laundry, forget about all of that for a minute. That's the same with essential oils, you guys. You have to figure out what works for you. You're gonna see a huge difference, a huge difference. Welcome back, guys. So today, we're going to be talking about how to get healthy cuticles. And we have a cuticle DIY using our oil of the week, which is geranium bourbon. Um, but before we start to do that, we're going to see who's joining us. And I was actually laughing because a lot of people are like, you know, channeling Pippi Longstocking. <laughs> um, what else was said about my hair? Let's see. Did somebody ask if they were if it was braided? Pigtails? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Katrina asked me if I braided it this morning. I was like, I think so. <laughs> but she was asking if someone else did it or if I did it by myself. It was pretty funny. Um, let's see, we have Kim from Wisconsin joining us, Amanda from New Hampshire. Oh my goodness, Danny didn't tell me you guys were live when I was dancing. <laughs> I have a cordless mic on today, so he was telling me to turn in circles because I, I used to not be able to. <laughs> yeah, I think this is, I'm more excited about the cordless mic than she is. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, we have Hannah from Wisconsin, Shelby from Oklahoma. Kathy says, good morning. Should I send in a picture of Storybook Land? I'm going to go with... I think yes. Yes. <laughs> um, Lisa from Arizona, Jesse from Maryland, Michelle from New York. Good morning, Retha from finally sunny Hamill, Illinois. Still lots of flooding here in the STL area. What's that? The, that that area around Hamel. Okay. <laughs> Good. Amanda, help us out here. Um, let's see. Another Amanda. Hi from Indiana. It's a beautiful day. Thank you. Goodness, apparently I need to wear braids more often. <laughs> I do braids. I'm headed to um, just a girls trip with one of my friends from high school today. We're ha I'm headed to Utah actually after work and um, I put my hair in braids when the next day I want it to be curly, you know? So I was like, that will be easy since I'll be away. Um, but apparently I should do my hairs and braids more often, you guys, with all your <laughs> braid shout outs. Um, okay, who do we have on Instagram joining us? We have Mama of Six says, love the hair, Retha. Oh, thank you. You and my four-year-old are Twinkies today. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I need Twinkies. a picture. And happy Friday from Vermont. Whiskey Lass says, hi from Myrtle Beach. Uh, <laughs> Tammy Gull or Gill says, hi from Virginia. Katie Hamby says hi from Texas. J Curry eight two seven. Good morning from Georgia. Cute pigtail braids, Rita. <laughs> Thank you. Ashton two two one five. Amanda here from Virginia Beach. Pro caffeinated mom of seven. Happy Friday from Iowa. Let me see if there's happy any more. Friday. It is Friday. It's Friday. It's I know. It doesn't feel like a Friday. It doesn't. No. Happy Friday. Um. So, um. STL is St. Louis. I'm being told. Oh, that makes sense. I mean. And, which is what I said, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, no. it's that place around. Pete says he has no more worries on its way to him. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit too. But first we're going to do PT friends. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Ooh, this is a pretty good one. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Like, oh, oh, Ooh. Wait, look at that. Ah. <laughs> You guys are excited to see these now, huh? With all my sound effects. Look at this one. This is from Sasha or Sasha Perry, Mount Rainier. Rain, Rainier. Rainier. I said that right. Whew. Right? I did say that right. I say Mount Rainier. Didn't I say that? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was confused now for I'm a second. I'm second guessing myself. I was like, I don't know what it came out of my mouth anyways. Um, in Spanaway, Washington. Spanaway? I'm going to go with Spanaway. I don't really know. Um, that's really cool. Look how pretty that is, you guys. I am really struggling to zoom in on that. With the sunset? Do you need me to there move it? I don't know what's no, happening. Okay. I think you were moving too much. I'm just kidding. I'm blaming you. It wasn't you. Our Very PT nice. wall's friend, our PT friend's wall does look bare because we're doing something different. 
So yes. we have a bunch of cards. We're just not putting them up on the wall because we're doing something different with them, right? Yes, we are super excited. Yeah. Um, so don't worry about this bare wall. We still have yours if you've sent them in um, to do something fun with them. Yeah, and once, once we're done um, announcing the PT Friends today, I'll go ahead and uh, tell you a little bit more about that change. Good, because I have no idea. Um, Celeste Williams says, no more worries, also known as, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and if you weren't here on Wednesday, you should go back and watch that live. <laughs> it's fine. It's, if you weren't here on Wednesday, it's fine. if you don't, but it's not <laughs> fine. Um, so, Sasha, thank you, Sasha. What one is it? Sa or Sa? Um, hello all. all. No, it says hey all. I just can't read. My name is Carolina. This is my little town. Now I can be added to the PT friend board. I've been loving the live videos and all the instructions you share, you share on essential oils. Keep up the good work, Carolina. That's cool. Ooh, that's a beautiful. So California, but her name's Carolina. Right. <laughs> but I don't know Idlewild. I feel wild. <laughs> Jenny feels wild. How about you, Katrina? Uh, yeah, definitely. Katrina feels <laughs> idle wild too. That's cool. I've never, I've never heard of this town. I haven't either. It's you, very snowy looking. Yeah, you don't usually see snow. Yeah. California must be really northern. Yeah. Cool. That's fun. Um, look at this cute little peacock. It's fine. Bluebell, Pennsylvania, <laughs> formerly known as something else. Spell it out. Pidgeo Town? P P I G E O Town. Pidgeo Town. That sounds Pidgeotown. right. It sounds like a Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Look how pretty. So is that a picture that that who was it? It from? looks like. It looks like um it doesn't say Oh it doesn't say who it's from? Mm -mm. Wow, so if this was your picture, you better <laughs> let us know. And if there's like ten people who said it was theirs, we'll know that <laughs> Well, no, someone's not telling us the truth. Um, okay, this was sent in from Beth. And she says, we love our little town of Newark as opposed to Newark, 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 New Jersey. Oh, I th always thought it was Newark. 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 Newark, Newark, Newark. Huh. But she's saying it's I'm trying to, Newark. yeah, it's Newark. Yeah, I'm, so I'm trying to think how I said it before she told me. Newark has maintained a small town feel while having all the big town amenities. P.S. We love watching your lives together. P.S.S. This is a replacement for a photo I e emailed in. Oh, good to know. Oh. Look at I that. Wanted, I Newark. really want to hear a P.S.S.S. -S. Oh, wait. So this isn't the New York one. Oh, I get it. Wait. No, Newark, Newark, New Jersey. I get it. Okay, it's fine. We got it. That's from Delaware. Gotcha. So it's a different town. Right. I'm following. I did not follow that at the beginning because I did not see it was from Delaware. Oh. So it was cheating. So there is a new work in New Jersey. In New Jersey. New and then a New Ark. Beth. Stably. Beth. New Ark. Dakota. No, wait, Delaware. <laughs> I know it started with a D. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So uh, what we're gonna be doing uh, here in the future is right currently you have to be watching to be able to win. And Ooh. what we're going to do is make it a little bit easier for you to win um, and have uh, you'd need to send in your email or not your email address your address with your picture and story so that we can make sure we get the prize out to you I mean they're all being sent in the mail so just make sure you put it on that yes not everybody puts their their contact right, information their return mm -hmm. and uh, send your pictures and postcards to 510 2nd uh, Avenue South Twin Falls, Idaho, 83301. And Danny has it posted. You heard up that, there, right? Lady. I do. Mm -hmm. Good. Cool. Thanks, Danny, for letting us know. Okay, guys. No worries. Worries. Introduction. Be happy. Boop, 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 boop. No, boop, boop. I don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> That's the sound. <laughs> boop, boop. Yeah, he goes. That's way better. <laughs> Look at them. We're just going to get to sing the rest of the time. I'm totally cool with that. You didn't oh. tell PT friends what they were doing. Well, oh, that's because right. I don't know. It's hanging on the board next. Oh. Mm, necklace. Ooh. You're winning this. Necklace. Just kidding. There's something inside of it. 
PT friends, if we drew your picture off the wall today, it's if, one of the. What if it was a finger? They're all different, but it's one of um, the aromatherapy diffuser necklaces. Mm. And a no more worries, or no worries. <laughs> she hates when I do this, you guys. <laughs> and a no worries. <laughs> <laughs> she says awesome. whatever you like, and then in her mind, she was like, I don't I'll kill you. <laughs> so no worries. Um, we just launched this yesterday, and it is a new Kid Safe blend that we're really excited about. So this would be a substitute for like um, Worry Free, our adult version, Worry Free. Um, and we, you know, I know I've talked a lot with you guys about my, um, my son, who's seven. He'll be eight this year and um, like his separation anxiety and how he, you know, loves coming to the store and picking out and, you know, like lime and a lot of the citruses, the new essences. I mean, as soon as he smelled those, we bought them and took them home. <laughs> like he's obsessed with them. He loves citrus. I usually put a little like vetiver in there because that helps with, um, you know, like relaxation and focus and stuff. But now we have a blend, you guys, which is really exciting for children because I think a lot of children, um, struggle with anxiety separation anxiety you know new school year anxiety just like there's a lot that children have to deal with and i think a lot of children deal with anxiety and no worries can help with the symptoms of anxiety so i'm really excited that there's this new blend it is citrusy and so i know my son's going to love it so i'll probably just um i don't know use this and then take it home see what i do there guys <laughs> don't tell the boss <laughs> But really, I'm really excited about this because we haven't had we haven't had a kid safe blend that's specific to um, you know worries, anxiety, and, and helping with those symptoms. So I'm super excited that we have this blend now. Any questions? Amanda says, "I say no worries all the time. I need this. You can just like hold this up and not talk anymore." <laughs> <laughs> um, would no worries help with grief? <laughs> Um, it absolutely could, yeah. So it helps just like focus and calm your mind. Um, so it could absolutely help with grief. Uh, Liberty Dewey just said, I just got out of a meeting with a new boss. Needed the no worries for that. <laughs> that is stressful. Um, Liz says for adults too, absolutely. So even though it's formulated using the safest kid safe oils, um, the undiluted is full strength, so it will abso absolutely work just as well for adults. So you really, for the adults, you just find what one you like the best. This one, the, the worry-free. Um, and then the roll-on is usually diluted to a kid-safe amount. Um, so you can add a little bit more if you want it a little bit stronger for yourself. But honestly, I've always just used the kid dilution on the roll-ons for myself as well, and it's always worked. Um, well, with this, with this haircut, you look like a kid. <laughs> Thank you. Does that <laughs> no, smile too? That's what somebody said. I didn't say that. Um, What's the difference in the effects between that one and Happy Place? Happy Place. Um, so that's a good question. I, I mean, I would need to like look at the ingredients um, and really, really pinpoint the ingredients. Um, but I think for like Happy Place, at least um, like maybe I should read it before I give you information that's like not on the website. <laughs> Anybody else, Katrina? Have you written, written the content for it? A long time ago, so I don't <laughs> really Yeah, remember. so I think Happy Place um, would be really good to deal with like grief um, and just like, you know, things that your children are having a hard time with, but not necessarily like really specify towards anxiety. Um, so to me, that would be the difference, you know? So if your children are sad, they're struggling, like happy place, right? Kind of, kind of boost their spirits where um, no worries to me is more really focused on symptoms of anxiety, which are sometimes can be the same. And sometimes, you know, having maybe some of those times that bring children down can then cause anxiety, right? So they can kind of overlap. Um, but for my son and, and his, although he's doing fantastic, we really haven't even had to use it most of this year besides the very beginning of the school year. He's doing so good. Um, but I would prefer the no worries for his specific um, concerns that, that he has sometimes. I yes, think Danny. <clears throat> he's back there raising his head. Happy yeah. place is like a hug. Aw. And no worries is like playing with, playing ball with them. Huh? It's going out and pushing them on the swing. I mean, I'm going to say yes. I see that. Well, no worries <laughs> is a lot brighter. 
Yeah. It's a lot it's more, more happy. Like, yeah. Uh, Christina said, happy place is formulated with both children and adults in mind. Occasionally, anxiety is a common experience today, but uh, going in a happy place. Anyway, you can, can read what she wrote. I'm pretty sure she copied that out of the website, the, website. the description. So, yeah. Thanks, Christina. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, any other questions? I'm going to reload because they're not loading for me now. Any other questions on nothing on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Nothing else? <gasps> Sweet. My oldest is a worry ward. It's just part of his makeup. Just kidding. His gad. What is that? Uh, guilty, addictive, delusion. Are you making that up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what that. <laughs> I think it. Yeah. I think she meant to put dad. I'm just uh. kidding. It's because of his dad. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Let's move on. Who wants to do? Who wants to win this this blend right here? I do. Hmm? Down. <laughs> who wants to win this blend right here? <laughs> Whoopsies. Here we go. Beep 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 beep. Word and scrambler. Kristen wants to win this blend. Anybody Let's else? Tiffany does. Win it. Okay, tell us what it is. Hmm. It's in my DNA. DNA. I don't Thanks. know if that's... No, I mean, that was someone else. Oh, that wasn't... Um, let me mm -mm. See. That was Carol who said DNA. Sasha said GAD. You have to tell us what that means, Sasha, because... Ooh, sure. I'm seeing some correct ones. This maybe, one is maybe, a little maybe. bit Patty easier. Says. It doesn't matter. All the ones we think are really hard, they still get them. It's very frustrating. <laughs> 26 guys. seconds. Are you seeing some on Instagram? Everybody. And while we have just a few minutes, there are so many coming through. Um, if you have any other questions about no worries specifically to like my child, you know, struggles with this or my child has this or whatever, um, that's more specific to your child or your specific needs, email our aromatherapist at aromatherapist at planttherapy.com and they can help you um, know exactly what blend or what oils would be best for your specific situation and how to use them. Because I do see some questions. Um, I saw someone say, you know, can this be used with a child who has autism? Um, I saw some other ones on there that I don't feel comfortable answering on the show, but our aromatherapist um, will be perfect to help answer that question. So aromatherapist at planttherapy.com. All right. You ready? I think we're ready. Tingly oh. mint. Tingly mint. You know, this is fantastic for like a, a foot soak and a, or a foot massage, you guys. Sounds tingly. It is. And it's wonderful. Tingly mint. Tingly mint. So Jesse's going to hop on. Goodness, I keep thinking these are Jesse like my remote. Up. My, not remote, my mouse. Okay, so we're, our winner is from Facebook today, and it's Marissa... Leisler, Leisler. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Marissa, I'm going with Leisler from Facebook. So congratulations, Marissa. You just won yourself a 10 mil tingly mint. Mm -hmm. um, and we have some, some questions for ingredients. So you can find the ingredients on the product page of No Worries, um, but I can tell you what they are here. We have orange. Um, nope, I lied. We have whole wood. Whole wood is first. And then we have orange. And coriander, amorous, pink grapefruit. So it looks like we have orange essence and Ooh. then sweet orange. Sorry, I missed that. So we have, I'm gonna start over. How's that? That was really confusing. <laughs> um, so we have whole wood and then orange essence and then sweet orange, coriander seed, amorous, pink grapefruit, geranium bourbon, and Helichrysum Metallicum. I like it. Danny likes it. Okay, awesome. Um, and so make sure you check out the product page for No Worries, the blog for No Worries, um, as well as you can email the aromatherapist or customer, our CS team, um, No Worries, that we actually refer to them as customer satisfaction now instead of customer service. Which and I guess CS that wrong at Plant still Therapy still the works for that. CS at Plant Therapy. Yep, CS at Plant Therapy.com. But they're here to satisfy you, not just serve you. Mm -hmm. That's like right. Like what I did there. <laughs> um, okay, so who's ready for this DIY? 
this is gonna be fun because there's beeswax and everybody knows how there's much I love beeswax. beeswax. Oh look at our beeswax is nice and melted over there. So I'm just gonna hop on over here to our um, what's the difference between orange essence and orange EO? Um, so therapeutically, they're very similar. The biggest difference is going to be the aroma and um, the extraction orange method. essence. And the, yeah, the extraction method. Um, orange essence smells more like the whole fruit instead of just the rind. It, yeah, I was going to say the, the, that. Good. <laughs> I beat you to it. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Oh, Danny. Okay, so um, we are making a cuticle balm today using, Jerry's like, oh, that's my son. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> using um, our oil of the week, which is geranium, and it's Spotlight 5-0 to get 15% off geranium bourbon. Um, so that's the oil of the week, and so we're making a cuticle balm using that. So you need one tablespoon of beeswax, and we're, we use um, these little beeswax pearls from Plant Therapy. And I have, is this hot on the... Should be okay, but there are. Oh, There's are little cute. mittens, you guys. Look at those little mitts. Oops. Instagram's like. Okay. Here she comes. Here I am. I made okay, it. Okay, so you need one tablespoon combined essential oils and jojoba oil. So this is the jojoba oil, right, Jerry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then you're going to need. Um, 12 drops of geranium bourbon. Maybe I should have left that on. It's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> no worries. It's fine. I don't know what I'm at. That's give or take 12. I lost count. <laughs> and then six drops of hoe wood. What does happen if you add too much or too little? Um, well, the too dilution little just gets changed. But really, if it's something like this, if you were to add one more drop, you're going to be just fine. Um, you wouldn't want to add 10 more drops because then the dilution would be too much. You'd have to add more jojoba and it would just, you know, make a mess. So don't do that. That's right. Okay, so um, mix the jojoba and the essential oils together. And then you're melting. We've already melted the bee beeswax. Um, and we just put like a, what's this called? Double boiler. Uh, thank you. Yep, a double boiler where we just put the you know, water in the bottom, have that boil, put a bowl on top so it melts it. Um, we're going to add the jojoba and the essential oils into the beeswax and stir. And you can, so as you, I don't know if you guys saw how it clumped up. Um, so when it's over the heat, it will just melt back down. Um, but I'm hoping it melts back down a little bit because we still have hot water under there. And you can, can they see? They don't have anything over the I top. Yeah, I didn't put it. It's, mel it's already melting down a little bit anyways. Um, the clumps are getting a little bit smaller. Can wow. you use uh, coconut oil if you don't have jojoba? Um, I don't see why not. Yeah. Jojoba um, is a wax, actually, um, which would be really good for this. But really, any carrier oil would be fine. It might not work as fantastic as a cuticle balm, but I really don't think you would really notice too much of a difference. Can you tilt that this way a bit? No. <laughs> Can they see that? Oh yeah. It's hot. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so I, if I was making this at home, I would probably put it back on the stove top and have it melt down just a little bit more but not here. Um, and then you want to add the honey and let's see, what a half a teaspoon of honey. Whiskey Lask is asking, can you use geranium Egyptian instead of geranium bourbon? You absolutely could, yep. They're very similar in their therapeutic benefits, so you could definitely use that. We're using bourbon um, because that is the oil of the week. Okay, and then once that's mixed together, and as you could see, the honey melted down. I don't know actually if you can see. Um, the honey melted down like really fast because it is still pretty warm. So although the, the beeswax is not completely melted down, the honey melted down really fast. Um, and then you can put it in a little lip balm tube like this. Uh-oh. I don't know what's happening. It's fine. <laughs> okay, a little lip balm tube or um, like a, one of those metal tins or we have these um, cute little 
plastic jars here as well. It's fine, you guys. I got this. <laughs> Yeah, and if you remelt or if you put it back on the the heat, yeah, that will it all will melt together. It will come out nice and smooth. It won't be clumpy at all. Like mine. Yeah, but we want you to see what could happen if you don't. Yeah, that's why I said if I was at home, I would melt that down a little bit more. Um, but this will this will work great for showing you guys. And you wouldn't even have to melt it down probably because it really did you know, go together pretty well. It is just a little bit thick instead of runny and yeah, completely covered. I hate working with beeswax. Katrina knows. It is hard because every time you add something to it that's room temperature or colder, the beeswax like instantly starts to harden up. So you have to remelt it down all the time. And cleaning up beeswax is not is is not my favorite. But if you guys have But um, if it's your ideas, favorite <laughs> Yeah, if you guys have ideas on how to um, clean up beeswax or you know easier share that in the comments let people know and let then me know <laughs> you're just going to apply look at those cuticles yeah now I can show you my cuticles those cuticles are really cute <laughs> I mean that is what the beginning of the show stated we were going to do is make cute cuticles remember and I think we've succeeded and my cuticles were actually really bad um, any questions you gotta put your cuticles up by your face like this. <laughs> While they're, um, have chunks by them. <laughs> um, let's see. Earthy <laughs> Hippie Mama is asking what other oils can you use for it? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I would just say really oils that are good for your skin, um, good for healing skin. So like lavender would be a good option. Um, Katrina, what else? Helichrysum or rose? Rose, yeah. Yeah, that'd be a great option too. There's yeah, some, I mean, there really are a ton that helps with your skin. There's a lot of really good advice on how to clean up beeswax. Ooh, good. Um, on there, so make sure you read through those. I really liked, I thought this one was really good by Kathy. She said, wipe the container you're using to melt with with almond oil first prior to melting the beeswax to make cleaning easier. Mm -hmm. Danny's going to take all of those, you guys, and run with them. Why is there honey in this? One, two, three, I... not it. Uh, Sorry, Katrina. Honey is known to have like good um, skin healing properties. I know it's good properties. for the skin, yeah. Mm -hmm. I you'll, think that's it. It's just an extra ingredient to help. Yeah, you'll see like honey in a lot of like face masks and things like that because it's just good for the skin. Yeah. Um, how long will it last? I imagine a long time. Yeah, I think you're okay with but I would definitely email I mean I would say at least CS. six months yeah yeah okay if you have any other questions email CS at planttherapy.com and they'll be happy to answer them because I might not know them all and, Kendra and says fine. honey is great for the skin <laughs> uh, Kendra actually bathes in honey did you guys know that? And Every have you day. Seen and her showers skin? in honey. That's have right. you seen it come out the shower? <laughs> yep. yep. I mean, it it's, takes it's, her a long time. <laughs> yeah. And it's hard to milk all those bees with the honey. <laughs> milk them. <laughs> um, okay, guys. <laughs> Emily um, said that honey is moisturizing and has an is a natural antibacterial properties. That's pretty cool. We have customers asking what we do with all the open products. We actually leave them up here because we do a lot of DIYs. Um, so I see you fishing, but <laughs> since I haven't actually seen anybody request them and just say, hey, what do you do with them? I'm just going to tell you. Um, okay, we have a Father's Day DIY social contest going on right now. Um, so go and check that out. Is it posted on Instagram and Facebook? I saw it on Facebook. Uh, I believe so. I yeah. believe it's on Jesse Instagram will, as well. Uh, Jesse, let can us know. Can verify that, or they can tell us in, in the comments. And, and <laughs> you he, milk bees, Danny? I yeah, mean. isn't that how you get honey? <laughs> how do you guys get honey? <laughs> <laughs> so this is basically, in a nutshell, what uh, the contest is about. Um, they want calling all dads. Oops. Yeah, Jesse said it's on both. Cool. Um, 
It says, calling all dads, we want to see you doing a plant therapy DIY. Post a video or photo of dad doing a plant therapy DIY to Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter on or before June 15th. Tag hashtag PTDIYDad and at plant therapy for your chance to be one of five winners of the DIY Dad prize pack. Ooh. Fun. It's gonna it be goes along fun. with the the um, our dad's DIY video that's on the Father's Day landing page. Yeah, so which is fun. If you haven't seen that yet, you guys go and check it out because it's super funny and cute. Yeah, and be be sure to tell us some of your best dad jokes while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Who's ready for a giveaway? Me. It's giveaway time. <laughs> this is great. This is one of my favorite <laughs> questions. <laughs> Um, okay, so your giveaway question is, what is a cuticle? <laughs> Maybe I was applying it to the wrong part of my body. That would have been so <laughs> like funny. Like my belly button or something. We, we did, um, in the, do you remember when we were doing funny. the videos um, for the top 15 questions that people have? And you said something that was so funny, and I can't remember what it was, but you That's were like... That's fine. We don't said, need to remember. You, you said something about... It was like cuticle or something like that. And then you were like, wait, are there cuticles on your belly button or something like that? It was something like that. Anyway, I'll see if I can find it, and we're going to put it up on TV. Up. Do that, please. Um, okay, so make sure to enter the giveaway. You need to... Um, Enter via the link, which can be found in the Instagram, in the plant therapy stories on Instagram, or in the comments or the description on the live videos on Facebook and YouTube. So make sure you go to the link. You'll have until midnight tonight to enter the giveaway. Again, what is a cuticle? Um, seriously, how funny would that have been if I had not applied it? You're like putting it under your nose. To my cuticles. <laughs> um, Haha, <laughs> what is a cuticle? Um, there's Google, if you don't know the answer. You know, Google's our best friend right now. Um, okay, so make sure you tell us, and you're going to win the ingredients, that, right? Is that what they're yep. winning? Okay, because yep. he changed this, and I don't actually know, so I was making that. You're and going to win the ingredients. And a pack of the, the other one. And Ooh. a pack of these. So you can make um, this cuticle balm. Okay, guys, um, don't forget to check out the Father's Day page if you are celebrating Father's Day and want to get that um, special father in your life, something special. Um, oil of the week, geranium bourbon, Spotlight 5-0 to get 15% off any size. Um, check out the new Father's Day products as well as No Worries, our new Kid Safe blend, um, the Father's Day contest, lots going on. And we have lots going on all month, so make sure you just keep checking back. Um, and if, if we missed any questions, please email CS, email CS at Plant Therapy. Yeah. Um, like I, I see a couple on here, like asking how to um, how to answer the questions on uh, for the giveaway and 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 things like that. If you okay. felt like you need some more information, just email CS at Plant Therapy. Perfect. Thanks, Danny. Okay, guys, have an amazing weekend. We'll be back at, on Monday at 9:30 a.m. Mountain Time. Um, we'll be back on the porch making drinks hanging out, having fun. So make sure you join us Monday, 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. And have an amazing weekend. See you guys.